Savvy Chicers, it's Ruby. So this past Tuesday, it was all about Valentine's and uh, desserts, of course, and chocolates. I like chocolate, don't get me wrong, but I'm not a deep chocolate lover the way that some people are. So I put out the suggestion of maybe making a panna cotta. It really took a lot of people, favorited it and retweeted it. And so I thought, hey, let me share the recipe you can find that on my site and i would do a video on how to make crystallized roses because they're not very hard to make and they just add that bit of sexy to your dish and i like that you only need three ingredients this is one of my simpler garnishes and i have my washed dried rose petals here and i like to use the finer ones the smaller rose petals because i find they're more delicate and have a nicer uh, fragrance to them an egg white that has been lightly beaten, not too much froth, just to break it up a little bit. And some vanilla sugar. And I make my own vanilla sugar just by reserving the pod and putting it into fine caster sugar and covering it. And it's, it tastes really fabulous. After you've finished uh, coating all the petals with sugar, you do need to leave it to dry for 24 hours. There are some tips that you can use to kind of speed up the process that I'll share at the end. It's very straightforward and it's fun. I like doing it. So I just put on some music and I'm going to be playing Bruno Mars's Treasure because that is what was suggested to me and I'm just going to do the rest. Give me your, give me your, give me your attention, baby. I gotta tell you a little something about yourself. And for the tip I was telling you about, if you're pressed for time, you can leave your sugar petals in a warm area of your kitchen. So for example, if you have a gas stove, you can just leave the pilot lit and that will just help to speed things along. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to make crystallized rose petals, but you can use it for any edible petal. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.